Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So you are back for another episode of Max's Gut Choice. And I believe it is episode 16 already. My gosh, how the weeks are flying. Now, if you are new here, you may not be familiar. So I will link the playlist for all of these videos down in the description box. Please feel free to have a look at some of the episodes gone by. But I will just try and briefly explain. So Mike bought me this bag here from my Amazon wish list. And inside of this bag are these tiny little bonbons of yarn. These are from Mira Handicrafts. They are 100% acrylic, a DK or lightweight three, 10 grams, 22 yards or 20 meters. Uh, made in China. You can wash up to 30 degrees Celsius. Do not tumble, do not iron, do not bleach. You can dry clean using tea. They recommend a 3.75 to a 4.5 millimeter knitting needles or a 4.5 to a 5.5 millimeter hook. And here they are. Now, they are not the nicest quality of yarn. This is quite meh. Um, definitely wouldn't use it for anything close to my skin just because there are much nicer yarns out there. Um, and when they say... 22 yards or 20 meters it's a little bit hit or miss guys so because i had a thursday segment for two whole years that ended in july that was of course the tile of the week thursday i needed a new segment for thursdays and i came up with max's gut choice so i thought i could use these and the way i chose to use them was i played around with one of the bonbons to see if I could come up with a square design. And originally I had no plan whatsoever on what I was gonna do with them. Um, the design I came up with, and I use US terminology guys, even though I'm in the UK, US terminology makes way more sense to me. Um, I just did four rounds of the traditional granny square double crochet clusters. Um, and I do not chain between my clusters in the corners. I do a cluster chain to cluster and I do turn my work after every round. Um, so I do four rounds of the traditional double crochet cluster rows. I do a fifth round of half double crochet clusters. Um, and then I was with the same yarn putting a, a final round of single crochets in every stitch. Um, but I was playing yarn chicken way too much that I decided to switch it up. Um, there are about 60 of these in that bag that Mike gave me, so plenty of them. Um, so because I was playing yarn chicken and getting highly frustrated, I then pulled this beauty out of my stash. Originally, I had two that I was gifted in Happy Mail. Then the lovely Karen sent me another two. And then the wonderful Donna sent me another four. So I have lots of this gorgeous lusciousness now. This is the first ball still. I still have a smidgy bit left. But guys, I have a bit of a confession to make in a minute. So I was now going to um, fasten off, weave in the ends and do the single crochet border in this gorgeousness off camera. Um, and this is um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn print. It is made in Turkey. It is in the Colourway Candy Stick Stash. There are five ounces or 142 grams, 252 yards or 230 metres. It is 100% acrylic. It's a medium four weight or Aran. Wash up to 40 degrees Celsius. You can tumble, do not iron, do not bleach, and then dry clean using A. And they recommend five millimeter knitting needles or a 5.5 millimeter hook. And like I say, this is what I've got of the first ball. It is absolutely gorgeous. My camera never does it justice, but it is absolutely sweet. Love it. And now I've got plenty of it. But the confession that I have to make is normally when I come back on to film the next episode, I prove to you that I have indeed 
put the border on and they are all complete. But for whatever reason, probably because I went back to work and my schedule just went all haywire and doolally, it completely slipped my mind. So the two squares that we did last week are still waiting for their borders. I am so sorry. Mantha is slacking. Now for these squares, I do use my 5.5 millimeter dots. It is the lilac -y one. So whatever squares we end up making today, I'm going to have to border these first and then border the ones we make today. So Mantha's got a backlog, but do not fear because I will very quickly catch up, guys. It will not take me long. So, even after all of that explanation, you're thinking, well, where does Max's gut choice come into it? Well, I have quite a few lovely podcaster friends here on YouTube, and I absolutely adore the fact that sometimes they get their family involved in some of the makes that they create. So, although you won't see Max on these episodes, he does play a very important part. What he does is he is allowed to pick whatever colours he wants. I do not dictate. And he can pick one, two, or three at a time. Again, completely his choice. I have no say in the matter. It is completely Max's choice. And he, without me looking, selects either one, two, or three. And then he puts them in this gorgeous metal bin here. Now, this metal bin is called gut. Now, when I was a child, we had a silver metal bin in our family that lived in our dining room and it was stuffed to the gills, had a stuffed gut, stu stuffed stomach full of our hats, scarves and gloves. So he was always referred to as gut. Well, one Christmas, my mum decided to buy me my very own gut. And when I received it, I knew I wanted him to feature on my channel. So not only did a new Thursday segment get born, I included Max and gut. And that is why it is Max's gut choice, because Max's choice gets put into gut. Then I come on here every Thursday and I do not know what is inside gut because Max always, always fills gut without me seeing. He does it in secret for me. Um, and I reveal live on camera in the video. And then I sit and make the squares with you and chat while they are being made. Then, like I said, once the main body of the squares are made, I normally off camera, fasten them off, put the border on and then show you the next time, which clearly I forgot. So I do apologize. So are we ready to see what Max has put into gut this time? I know I am. Let's take the lid off and let's see what we have got. Three, two, one. <gasps> Just a one -er this week. Yay! That means I don't have too much of a backlog to catch up ready for next week. That is awesome. Not only is it a one square week, it's my favorite color. It is pink and it kind of goes with my jumper. Now in the UK, we call these jumpers and I know you guys across the pond call them sweaters. And I have had in a couple of videos where I've been wearing this, the question, did you make your sweater? Yes, I did. This is a tutorial over on Cinnamon S Stitches channel. She did a tutorial of a free pattern that you can get on the Premier Yarns website. It is the granny pullover sweater, I think. If I can find it, I will link it down in the description box for you. And I made it using Premier Basics Mosaic in the colorway of Bouquet. So yes, I did make my sweater. Ta -da! So there we go. If you were wondering, yes, yes, I did make my sweater. Okay, guys. And I've been a silly billy and put my crochet hook away. I need it. I need it. Okay, so one square only this week. So let's pull the camera down. And this is all on a chair. It's not just floating magically because I don't have those types of powers. So I'm going to move those out of camera shot because we don't need them. All we need is to sit and chat for a little while while I make my one and only square. So Max went easy on his mum this week. That is amazing. 
So, yes, let's make these together. Now, if you are new to this segment, um, there are a few others here on YouTube that are making squares alongside me. Some of them are using the same um, kind of pattern that I played around with for these squares. Um, some are doing a different square pattern, but still making squares alongside me. Some of them are using the same kind of colours that Max chooses, and others are just making squares of whatever colour they fancy. This is not a crochet along or a make along, but it is absolutely gorgeous that some of you are joining in alongside me. Thank you so, so much for your love and support, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so it's kind of organically become a little mini crochet along again because tile of the week wasn't a crochet along and it organically became that way. So obviously some of you lovelies just want to join in and that is amazing. So I hope those that are joining in and doing the same colour have a little bit of pink in their stash this week. <laughs> But if you are not joining in with the squares, which is absolutely fine, please, as always, tell me down in the comments what you are working on while we spend this little bit of time together this week. I am always, always nosy and interested to know what everyone else is doing because I clearly experience FOMO a lot and FOMO is fear of missing out if you didn't know that. Okay, so weather update here in the UK, at least in my little part of the UK, which is right down the bottom in Cornwall. It is very much becoming autumnal and wintry as the weeks progress. We have had slightly more rain than we have for a while um, and it is definitely getting more chilly. Um, but I still... And I am filming this on Saturday, the 9th of November. You are obviously seeing this a few days later than that. I still, up to the 9th of November, still not put my heating on. I am determined to go as long as possible before putting my heating on because our whole house um, just runs off of electricity and electricity is expensive. Now, obviously, if it does get to the point where the heating needs to be put on, of course, I'm going to put the heating on. I am not going to let any of us freeze. Um, but if we can just bundle up with a few extra layers and a couple of extra blankets, and trust me, I've got plenty of blankets, we are going to make do for as long as we can and as long as we can keep ourselves comfortable by doing that. So yes, I am really, really chuffed that we still haven't put our heating on. So the main burning question that you are all just itching for me to get to is how was my first week at work? Now, obviously, by the time you see this, I will have nearly completed my second week. But as you know, I film these videos in advance. So I am filming this on the Saturday after my first week at my new job. And am I glad that it's the weekend? I am absolutely shattered, guys. I really am. Um, it is a lot of information overload because I have been mainly concentrating on um, some online training that I have to do. Um, I think I have 19 or 20 different little training courses online to complete. I have managed four so far and I have passed every single one and got myself a little certificate. So I'm rather proud of that. Um, there are what feels like hundreds of policies and procedures that I need to familiarise myself with and read and sign off to say that I understand them. Um, yeah, I've only done one of those <laughs> because obviously alongside all of that, I am having to man the phone 
and field the calls that are coming into the school. I'm having to man the emails and field those and respond to those that are coming into the school. And I am still waiting for um, myself to be fully set up on the system. So I haven't as yet fully got into what my full role and what all of my responsibilities are going to be because I need to be fully set up on the system but I am picking up little bits as the days go by and um, I think um, that I am going to be more than able to do everything that is asked of me and um, I am also one of those people that would like to help others if I can and take some of the pressure and workload off of them if I have the time scales and the ability to do so. So, um, you know, that's that's always an extra option as well. So still very early days, still not fully set up, still not 100% sure on everything that I've got to do, but we are getting there. I have taken strides in my online learning and policy reading. So I am feeling okay. I'm feeling all right. I am very tired when you've had a month and a half off, um, it is a shock to the system a little bit to try and get back into a working world routine. Um, but I think I'm managing it okay. I think, you know, although I'm tired, I'm doing all right. So everything is really positive and upbeat at the moment. And um, it's all going in the right direction, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, in the school, we have a debrief every morning or a staff briefing every morning to um, make everyone aware of important information, um, details about, you know, who might be visiting the school and appointments and things like that. Um, but on Friday, um, I was given a really lovely bit of positive feedback from the head teacher and, um, they told me that they had been having a lot of positive feedback from some of the families of students in the school saying that I was very positive, very friendly, very upbeat. Um, very encouraging, very sympathetic um, and a real asset to the school, seeing as I am probably one of the first people um, that families are going to speak to, whether it's families of students that already attend or whether it's families of um, potential students who may be joining. Um, and the head teacher said that that is um, a really important aspect that often gets overlooked that um, whoever the first point of contact is for these families in what can sometimes be highly frustrating um, times it is nice when you get a calm and positive and upbeat person who is super helpful super kind um, and even if I don't know the answer, I make it my mission to take their contact details, speak to someone that does know the answer and get back to them in a timely manner so that they're not, the frustration isn't building even more, that they're having to wait even longer for an answer um, and things like that. So that was super lovely to hear that. Um, it's not very often in an admin role that you get recognised or that you get positive feedback um, and it was just really lovely and made a wonderful change that after only a week that happened for me and it was recognised and spoken about in front of the whole cohort of my colleagues and everyone um, gave me a round of applause and it was really uplifting and really lovely to hear. In fact, this may sound silly, guys, but I even had a couple of happy tears because um, one of the things I really struggle with, and some of you may listen to the next sentence and think, yeah, right. I actually really struggle with self-belief, self-esteem and confidence. Um, 
I know I'm normally quite upbeat and kind and positive and high energy on my channel, but you've got to remember that when I make content for you most of the time, it is just me in front of a camera in an empty room. Um, and I know that you guys are all watching when it gets uploaded, but you're not all actually stood there looking at me. Um, and I've just realised that I've carried on in doubles and I need to switch to half doubles. Silly Mamfa. Um, so I can be like that when I film my videos. But when I am actually out in the real world, I'm very socially awkward at times. Um, I can be a bit of a wallflower. I can be a little shy and, um, you know, all those sorts of things. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a big thing to get some positive feedback to know that I'm doing okay, that people are liking what I'm doing, um, that it is making a difference, um, and to be thanked for it, it was wonderful and it did boost my confidence and self-esteem a little bit. And that's always a lovely thing, right? When you are normally riddled with self-doubt to actually be told, no, you're doing brilliant, keep it up, well done you, is a really, really wonderful feeling. So, um, so yeah, it's been intense, but it's been positive, and, um, and that I am truly thankful for. Now, obviously, I can't go into too much detail because I, you know, confidentiality and things like that, but as the week has progressed, I have met more and more of the students, they are all very, very individual and unique to themselves. Um, and that is what we celebrate there. We don't try and pigeonhole everyone into one big group. We um, try and have individual um, professional relationships with all of the students and get to know them, you know, on a much more one to one level um, and interact with them in that way. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of names I need to remember. There's lots of different personality traits and do's and don'ts with lots of different children. But I am sure as time progresses, that will get easier and I will be able to remember more and I'll get to know them a lot, lot better to make that easier. Um, they are challenging children because it is um, a spe special educational needs school. They are not mainstream students. They have a lot of um, SEN needs, behavioural needs, mental health needs. Um, so it can be a lot, but we, um, we do the very best we can while they are with us. And it's a big thing for staff to do regular check-ins to make sure that everyone's okay, that everyone's coping and managing that our mental health is okay, um, that, you know, if we need to take a break, then we just need to ask and that will be facilitated, which is awesome. Um, our well-being is just as important as the students' well-being. And again, that is something completely alien to me from most places I have worked previously. So, yeah, I am super happy and super hopeful that I may have just found the best job for me and um don't want to count my chickens before they hatch but yeah I'm really positive I'm really you know forward thinking and looking forward to the future and seeing where this journey takes me um because I am super duper excited about it and um I hope it's everything that I think it is gonna be so there we go the one and only square for this week is done. What a short video this week. But that's okay because I am having to batch record because now that I am back to work Monday to Friday, I am going to have to go back to batch filming on a Saturday. That is exactly what I'm doing now. Like I said, the day of filming is Saturday the 9th. That is not the day you're watching this. Um, so yes, I have a few more videos to, um, record. So if you've seen me in this same sweater for most of the week, I have changed my clothes, guys. I'm just filming them all on one day. So, um, yeah, 
So I will be able to hopefully fill you in a bit more um, next week because that wasn't really long enough to really talk about anything. But all you need to know for all of you that have been asking, it has been a really good first week at work. And hopefully by the time you're seeing this, I will have nearly finished another second really good week. Um, I will, of course, let you know in due course. Um, yeah, things are looking bright, guys. Things are good. Things are heading in the right direction. But I am super duper tired. Um, so I am going to get all my filming done. I am going to have a lovely, lovely, lovely hot shower, um, get into my gym jams and then spend the rest of my Saturday crafting and crocheting and chilling. Um, and then Sunday I am going to get a few jobs done, um, first thing and then as soon as the jobs are done that I want to do I am again just gonna chill and craft and crochet and do not a lot to be honest because I need to uh, rest ready for another action-packed fun-filled week at work so um, also to those lovelies who emailed me just before my first day to wish me luck and to tell me that I was going to be great and to not let the nerves get the better of me and that you're thinking of me and that you're hoping and praying that, you know, the job works out and I'm super happy and I have a really good first day. Thank you so, so much. You do not know how much that means to me. I really do appreciate those emails. Um, I do want to say as a bit of a side note, I do get an awful lot of emails um, and I do get an awful lot of comments on my videos, so I don't always get the opportunity to email you back. So as much as possible, I do try and let you know through my videos that I do receive them. I do appreciate them. Um, and I am super thankful for all of your love and support in whatever capacity you are able to give it to me. Um, yeah, you guys absolutely rock. You are amazing. Um, couldn't do it without you and um, I just hope you know that I love you just as much as you love me so we'll leave it on that happy note shall we anyway guys I don't know if there is a bonus Friday video or not I don't think there is so in that case I hope you have a wonderful weekend coming up as well um, and I will be back soon in another video but until then Stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye guys, love you loads.